Okay. I got mail. And I'm really excited. A box! He's excited. He's excited. I got this. But I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. But you can probably guess that it came from the far east. Actually, no, I bought it from a local shop here. Who gets stuff from the far east? But I really wanted to have this thing. And I really needed it. I, I guess that you can probably tell what is it, what it is, but let's see. I aim to test you guys. What do you think? What is it? Money shot. It's a rework station. A hot air rework station. And oh my god, I am so excited. I am so excited. Okay, there's a fuse in it. I, I always check because... I don't want to sound like that D-bag, but our sellers here in Serbia, they pull out the fuses so you have to buy them separately. But this is amazing. And yes, as you can see, it's fully analog. It doesn't show you the temperature, but to be honest with you, I don't really need that. Hold a moment. Man, this is very well packaged, or packed. I think you say packed. Check it out. This is amazing, man. Wow. Wow. There is a little stand thing that came with it, and you screw in the stand over here, and then you put, the station on the stand. And I can't wait to test it out. I will assemble it. Hold a moment. Okay, I got my tools. <laughs> Let's assemble it. Because I've actually never seen a video that assembles it. Or that tries to assemble it. Let's see. Okay. Okay, baby. Number one. Where are you? Okay. Number one. Okay. Okay, let me check. Uh -huh. I need to. I need to just reposition this thing a little bit. A little bit more. Come on. That's it. I'm super stoked to see if it works. Although, I'm not really looking forward to getting up my room because it's already like 30 degrees C here. Come on. Okay. All right. It's assembled. Okay. Oh, what is this? I didn't see that here. It fell on the floor. It needed to fall on the floor in order for me to see it. Nozzles! I got nozzles. Okay, let's put this nozzle here. Let's see how you put them. Put it like this. And you twist it, I guess? Yep, you put it like this, and you, I think, you twist it. Okay. I'll try to remove a chip from a dead motherboard to see if it works at all. Okay, I plugged it in. I turned it on. Let's see if it works. Does. And oh my god, it really blows hot air. The air is really hot. 
Okay. And it's not noisy at all. I have to see why. I actually don't like that. And I don't like the flickering light. Maybe the flickering light says that it's heating up or something. I don't know. I'll read the manual later. Let's see. Will it get cooler? If I... Oh, I get it. Because it has a magnetic switch in here. So it gets cooler. It stops heating after you set it down. But it still blows air, so it would cool the heating element. This is awesome. Okay, I, okay, I have a dead motherboard here, and I use it actually to practice micro soldering. As you can see, because it looks pretty gummy, gunked up, and dirty. And I'm gonna try to choose a chip that I'm going to remove. Let's see, I'll remove this thing. I think it's a resistor. I'll put some flux on it. Man, I really need to get a syringe. I will increase the airflow and I will increase the temperature to 400 degrees. Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see how easy that was? Here's the component. Can I can I focus on it? Let me let me focus on it manually. There it is. There's the resistor. I got it off. This is so amazing. I am really, really, really excited about this, and, I, and I'm loving the product. I'm loving it. I hope I didn't destroy the resistor too much. Because that can happen. I'll take off one more component. Haha, found my next victim. Let me just apply some flux on it first. Because why not? Okay, now let's try again. Take two. I should have gotten a smaller nozzle. This nozzle is too big. Done. This is amazing. I'm putting it away. As you can see, the moment I put it away, it stopped heating, but it's still blowing air in order to cool it. And I'm really impressed, and I really, really, really love this product. And as you can see, now it's completely off. And I've turned it off, too. So, see this? This is what I love. You can calibrate it if it's not heating enough. You can recalibrate it. How much does this thing cost? Well, you'll never believe me. It cost me 35 bucks. And if you ask me sincerely, it's worth every effing penny. I am loving it. I have completed my tool set for SMD rework. And I hope to get into more SMD. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just really excited and really happy that I have it. Baku 858 Alpha or A, whatever. SMD rework station. I recommend it.
yeah, one last thing I almost uh, forgot. Many people are like, uh, why didn't you add like uh, 20 bucks and got one with a display on it and with buttons? First of all, I don't like to fiddle with buttons. Because uh, if you need to hold a button uh, for a certain amount of time to set the temperature, that uh, wastes a lot of time. Let's be honest, that's one thing. The other thing is, I'm never going to need 353 degrees Celsius. I mean, come on. I either need it at 300, at 400, or 350. I just need to adjust the potentiometer on it. I just don't want to waste my time. I don't want to F around too much with it. That is it. I am loving it. It is amazing. I'm impressed. And, man, I, I, I got a new toy, and I'm, I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited. Thank you for watching.